chuleta te evito Yeah, party on a Sunday So that was So that was Antidote by Travis Scott and you're tuned into NRG 97.1 with your girl Alicia Garufi, aka Peshalina. And I'm here with The Baddest DJ Trey, of course. Yeah, yeah. And your girl Maeve Cheryl. And on today's topic, we're going to be taking you back Kidogo and we're going to talk about the different doses of discipline that we got when we were kids. And Peshalina is looking at me in some type of way, like this story has hit a spot. Is there something you want to tell us? You know what? That it has hit a spot because the way I grew up, first of all, I grew up in Canada and my mom was, she studied psychology in school and she's ex-military. So I grew up very, it was a very interesting childhood and growing up in Canada, you know, you can't really hit your kids. So you know how kids are when you walk into a supermarket and they see something that they like? It's World War Three, right so there, you, you know? You get it for them or exactly. it's a war. Exactly. So I tried to pull that on my mom a couple of times, but... She didn't let that happen. She would just look at me and walk and walk away and be like, I don't know you. That's savage. Yeah, it was. It <laughs> would make really me, is. <laughs> yeah, it would make me curl back into my shell and get shy, you know, because I'd have all these white ladies like, oh, where are you? Like, who are you? Where's your mom? And I was a really white kid, you know, and my mom being African, To be precise, like, Caucasian, right? I don't right? know you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. She's like, I don't know you, you know? And immediately I'd be like, oh, and just follow her. So she would make that scene die so quickly. Um, and I think that was pretty effective, to be honest. And I think you're lucky because you didn't, um, in Canada, they don't allow for public corporal punishment. Uh, but true. here in Kenya, it's different. Exactly. Like my mom wouldn't shy away from pinching my ear and dragging yeah. me all the way to the cashier with her because I'm throwing tantrums yeah. in the supermarket. And I have this funny story of when I was young and my mom um, had left me in charge of, um, she was filling the tank with water. Mm -hmm. And she had told me before she left, I should keep, a, I sh I should keep an eye on the water. But then I forgot, um, you know, child, children playing and yeah, I forgot. And then the water filled the whole room uh -oh. and it's filled. And she uh -oh. came back and she was like, Nani uyu? And you know, she had left me in charge, but my small sister took the fall and said she tripped over the pipe and the water started your pouring. Sisters got you my back. mom <laughs> didn't take that. Yeah. She literally went out on my sister and started hitting her. Your small and sister. I saw this, yeah, like my small, small sister. sister, she took the fall for me. Okay. And I saw that this and I was like, nice. should I should I own up? Should I take responsibility for what I had done? Mm -hmm. Or should I just let her get the beating? Because she's small either way and maybe <laughs> my mom would be more lenient. Yeah. But it didn't happen like that. My mom took a knife. This is where the story gets crazy. Mm -hmm. She took a knife and put it on the stove. Like, after beating her, <laughs> and she's like, Leo na kueka lama, you never forget this. You'll never forget. Because <laughs> now who's crazy. going to mop the whole house? <laughs> yeah. And then... My sister, and I saw this and I was like, no, you know, this is this happened because of me. Mm -hmm. And I told my sister to run outside. Do you think that stopped my mom? My mom went after her and I was like, now it's over. Yeah. So my mom went after her, caught her and brought her back to the house. And then she took the knife because it was hot. And I don't even know what was going through her head when she was doing that. Mm -hmm. It was but a scare then, tactic. Yeah, but then she didn't do it, and I was happy she didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And my sister to date has never forgiven me about that. So now Boy. that just shows how our parents went all out with corporal punishment. But you see, I, I do get what you were what you were thinking, and you know, letting mm -hmm. your little sister take the fall because I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I feel like, you know, with the first few children that your parents have, that's where it's like your parents come down hard on them. You know, they get the beatings, and then True. they're worn out by the time it's the last born. You know, so I was lucky. I got my mom when she was a bit worn out from my brother and my sister. <laughs> so I didn't get whooped too much, but I was too. still <laughs> disciplined behind closed doors, of course, because you can't do that stuff yeah. in Canada. But mm -hmm. um, yeah. I do agree with you. I think um, once you're like my brother and my, my older brother and my older sister, they're the ones who when they tell us stories of how they used to get punished, mm -hmm. it's usually scary stories. And I feel yeah. like my mom and dad kind of come down. Mm -hmm. Like when it came to us, it'll mm -hmm. be they hit you once yeah. you start crying they leave you but then back then even your tears wouldn't stop them mm -hmm. i don't know dj trey what would your what were your parents doing to you yeah, you guys you guys have good experiences you know i'm from, <laughs> I'm from a military family so <laughs> being beaten is not a good experience you, you see um dad was military so uh definitely you know this guy this guy's had an up so um my dad would literally like and then what he'll do he'll just ask you one question you don't need to answer because before you answer He'll be acting on you. 
so he'll just ask you like did i tell you not to walk out of that gate and then you'll be like uh, 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 uh. and because you think you have friends there you think he'll, they'll stop him <laughs> there and then and then he tells you i should not get home before you mm. so what are you supposed to do you make sure you're yeah. home before me, him me, me by mean. day <laughs> by the i was i was Right now, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not an average type of person. Mm -hmm. Even when I was small, I wasn't average. So you can imagine me running before my father and his military. You know? <laughs> but wait, um, now <laughs> that you said your dad was military, like I have, I have this fear of dads who are in military. Like, do they exercise the same, like the training they go through and how they deal with terrorists and stuff? Ask like her. That? Do they mom do was that there. to mom was there. I mean, my mom was ex-military, but like I said, she also studied psychology. So a lot of how she did our punishment was a lot of psych, like it had to do with, you know, psychological and what we would, you know, and that would test our limits. And also, of course, she wouldn't leave out the beating. So she would tell us, hey, you know what? You're going to be beaten because you've done something wrong. Go and choose what you want to be beaten with. You know, you and had a choice of what you were to be beaten with. Let me tell with. you, that choice is not an easy choice to make, though. <laughs> like, it is not an easy choice because what do you do? You get, you go and get like a big stick because that's going to hurt. So you think to yourself, let me go get something thin. Hey, let me tell you something. Thin, Those thin things, deep, things they deep, are not, they hurt even more. They hurt even more. So it was. I mean, well, for me, I didn't get a choice because my dad used <laughs> it was to whatever use, with the, yeah, reach. whatever was within his reach is what he'll use. Yeah, like there's this one time he threw the remote at my brother, and you think old people <laughs> that's, don't that's have Africa. aim. Yeah, that's you think he'd be because shocked. because we he's all agree. old, that's he African. doesn't have <laughs> aim. He'll hit where he intended to hit, and it will hurt as hell. Mm -hmm. And there's this one time I was giving him water, like you know, African parents, you have to bring them yeah. water to wash their hands. Yeah, and I was bringing him water, and then by mistake, I spilled it. So I don't know if it was stress from his place of work or what happened. Mm. He just took the, you know, the iron box. He took the cord from, it was just what? next to him. He took the cord and he hit my lap. And yeah. I was like, like the just iron because box I, cord. yeah, just because I spilled water on you, I didn't deserve this. And mm. I, I just left everything there to go cry because it was so painful. Yeah. And he'd also use um, newspaper sometimes, how he'd fold a newspaper and hit it and hit <laughs> you with it. <laughs> like and a dog. Be, and, and, and it'll actually be painful. I don't <laughs> you know. You still get painful, yeah. right? <laughs> so if you're telling me you had choices, I think you're lucky because I mean, getting hit with whatever comes. It, 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 it kind of some, some, at some point, it felt like these guys had degrees in punishing us, man. Say. Because <laughs> me, me, my father, he will just like ask you, do you want us to go physically or you want me to like punish Wait, you and this is over? But your dad was asking you to fight him. You see, let me, you, see, <laughs> you see, let me tell you, uh, my dad, my dad is ki this kind of person that when he, uh, he decides to punish you, you're the one to decide how he will do it, you know? Yeah, what he like, he'll just ask you, do you want me to get you a cane, get you some slippers? Or, or are you gonna act right? Yeah, or, <laughs> or what are you gonna, you gonna act right? No, he, he, he never had that option by oh. day. I, I when they were in the mood for beating you, they would When he went to military, I'll uh, delete that thing from mm. his, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think there was no pity with my dad, like, you, you did this, you deserve this. If you guys had yeah, choices, you then you had... If you do it, you got to pay the price. I mean, it only makes sense. Anyway, I think we should... So we've got a question that we're going to leave you with just before we go on to a little bit of a break. Um, and we wanted to know, what, would, what do you think you guys would do if you had the option of disciplining, you know, children, your children or your future children? What would you do differently or would you do the same thing? And we will get back to you on that after the break. But before that, I have something to tell you. On the 21st of, Sept of September, NRG Radio is bringing you the biggest and the baddest show at Blend Thicker. And there will be amazing DJs. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Those who make it out of the NRG Top 40 are going to be unveiled on that very same day. So you don't want to miss this. Make sure to show up and turn up. They actually don't mm -hmm. want to miss us. Yeah, exactly. Show up oh. and show out, guys. Come yeah, on. So you know uh, the deal. Okay. But for now... J. Trey. Yeah, listen up, star. Fast girl on a drive, fast car. I'm inside like interior. Top drop down, but you can't see the bar. Been trippy for a while. Yeah, I stay dripping in the style. I push the beat and it's a murder. Nine, 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 put it down. Yeah. 
Yeah, boy, I do major things. Like shock somebody, cops and taser things. Keep from a level feet, some stranger things. Indian marriage, I'm a happy to arrange the things. Like, yo, she did it again. Sit with the pen, like, oh, quick. Get in the bends and bring your friends, drive slow. I'm sipping the Henny, I'm in the ends, I'm home. Same kids in the building, Caribbean, war blow. You know how we all get down. When me in the club get down. You know how we all get down. Like, whoa. I got a girl, don't say you love me. My team tastes like chicken curry, go low. Go low, 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 go low, eh. Hey. Go low, 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 go low. Go low, 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 go low, eh. Hey. Go low, 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 low. Money don't make me, I make money. Don't come around me, acting funny. I got a girl, don't say you love me. My team tastes like chicken curry, go low. Go low, 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 go low, eh. Hey. Go low, 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 go low. Go lo 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 go lo, hey go lo 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 lo. Start the trip, Obama, you can start the trip, oh. And I never cheat, you're bad boys and we never cheat, oh. DJ Trey. <laughs> I come my house, she say I go about it be money not left for Adasa, and that's why my girl like my team, 'cause it be strong like M I C. Oh, money don't make me, I make money. Don't come around me acting funny. I got that girl, don't say you love me. My team tastes like chicken. Joanna, your busy body, busy tonight. Joanna, making all the dummy tonight. Joanna, your busy body, giving me life, oh, hey, life, eh. Hey. A shy girl. Until I made you my girl, girl you push me like a big boy. Till I cut you like you did something. You ain't gotta wait for it. You ain't gotta wait for me to give you my love. Welcome back to The Dose at NRG Radio 97.1. And we left you with a question before we went on the break. And the question was, what do you think you do different as a disciplinarian now? And in my opinion, I think what I do different right now is I wouldn't really... Um, use more of the corporal punishment because I really hate it when kids cry and I really hate it when pain is inflicted physically on people. So I think yeah. I'd, I'd rather go with the psychological, I'd rather do it the psychological way or like threaten them with things that will get them scared for a while and maybe now cook mm -hmm. up other yeah. methods. You know, I think it's a bit different when you're actually in the position. So like I've, I've got nieces, right? My sister's got three kids. Mm -hmm. And when you're actually in the position, you realize that you do have to lay hands sometimes, you know? Like sometimes it's necessary because sometimes they don't understand unless you do, you know? Mm -hmm. But I do lean to more towards the psychological, just like my mom. I thought I would be different, but <laughs> just like her, I... So there's a story of my niece, mm -hmm. the middle child now. This little girl is so destructive. And when I say that, I mean like literally, if you leave anything and you're not watching her for like two minutes, she will destroy anything and everything. Kids can drive you crazy. Exactly. So uh, prior to this day where I told her I'm taking her to the police station, I had warned her, I said, if you continue to touch things that do not belong to you, I'm gonna have to take you to the police station, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I slowly warned her about it, and so one morning I wake up, and she's taken my earrings, and they're beaded earrings, and she's ripped off all of the beads. Crazy. What? So I told her, hiya, go put your shoes on, go put your jacket on, we're going, we're going to the police station right now, let's go. <laughs> she refused to put her shoes on. You're she, a bully. Yeah, Wait. she refused to put her shoes on, she refused to put her jacket. I said, okay, we're going to go without it. And that's the day the census guys were at my house, actually. So I'm carrying this child <laughs> in my arms, and she's kicking and screaming, you know how it is. And her poor little brother and her older sister are there bawling their eyes out, like, please don't take her, Alicia. she's sorry. <laughs> yeah, she won't do it again, please, Mama Alicia, don't. Like, she's learned her lesson, and I was like, no, we're going. So I take her all the way downstairs, this census guy is looking at me, and I'm like, listen, I'm just taking her to the police station because, you know, she deserves she's it. She's misbehaving. And, yeah, exactly, and he's like, okay. I put her in the car, I turn on the car, and I look at her, and I say, you know, 
you're lucky this time because her brother and sister were literally bawling on the balcony just watching us, you know, scared that their sister is going to jail <laughs> and Alicia's going to leave her there. It's like but I turned off the car and I said, you know what? I'm going to let it go for now. But next time I really am going to take you. This time you were saved by your brother and your sister. But next time I'm really taking you and I'm leaving you there, you know? So she stops doing it. I mean, I agree with you that a lot of, um, a little bit of pinching sometimes and slapping yeah. would do because w- uh, when the more you use this threat, threats, the more they'll catch on to it that mm-hmm. they're actually threats. Because I have used the police threat on my knees. Yeah. And then there's this one time I was walking with her. We were going to the supermarket and then there were policemen outside there. And you know how policemen get with kids? They get friendly mm-hmm. and they saw, they said mm-hmm. hi to her and they waved at her and she was like, hiya, police in the friend yangu. So then <laughs> when I went home, I was like, where went? Takupeleka ka polisi. Police in the friend wangu. And yeah. I was so like, the, so, so now, that's not this thing anymore. is not going to yeah. work. I have to yeah. find something new. To I mean, like that's why each time, like each time I make that threat, I take one step closer to mm-hmm. so like the next time i'm actually gonna take her i'm actually gonna go and i'm actually gonna drop her at the police station and i'm, I'm gonna slide him a katu sock and i'm gonna be like listen fear her instill that fear in her so that when i take her out she starts acting correct she's acting accordingly i don't need no like come on it's no it's not acceptable Ever but something no, yeah. else she's, she's actually a lot better she's a lot better now something so. else that made me like edge towards um avoiding corporal punishment is how we were taught in high school like they did away with corporal punishment completely so if you did something wrong they'd actually sit you down and talk to you so mm-hmm. wait what? why did you do this you tell them why you did it and then do you think it was right or wrong do you think okay you okay so like they wouldn't ask they used to do like that's how they used to do to us they that's sit you down you are like and you'd get maybe a light punishment and things like that. Mm, but yeah. most of the time it was to talk to you so that you can see where you're wrong. Because, you know, with corporal punishment, it's usually nakuchapa, whether I kn- whether you understand yeah. whether you what you did was it, wrong. Yeah. I think that's uh, yeah. an issue about with beating is mm-hmm. that like you really need to make sure the child or you know the individual understands what they're being punished for otherwise literally you're just beating them for no reason yeah and actually most of us get scars from that yeah. so you grow up thinking your parent didn't like you or things like that because yeah. they usually went for the cane instead of sitting you down and talking to you and i feel like that's why i would rather sit down with the kid and talk to them about it and if they don't maybe pinch them a little because in, in two yeah. minutes they'll forget i mean you know what i do with my nieces and nephews is yes they get the little smack on the mouth and smack on the booty and the pinches here and there but also i make them stand at the door with their hands in the air for like and facing the door <laughs> yeah i told I you ma- I, I let them <laughs> i told you you're a bully, bully. <laughs> no, no, it's, not, it's not being a bully you guys it's just it's tactics and these tactic work you mm-hmm. know because if i send them to their room what if they get you, used to you know they can have biceps yeah, and they get used to that's the, no 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 heads, trust right? me trust me when i tell you i used to have to do it you do not get used to it your arms get so tired being up there like that yeah. that you literally start, start shaking, shaking. Yeah. so i know for a fact that that works because it was done to me so now i'm just doing it to them as well and it's worked because like for example her youngest boy he you try to send him to the room because he hates naps so i would be like go to your bedroom and, and take a nap I've come back 30 minutes later. That guy has just messed up the whole room. He's just, you know what I mean? So that didn't work. So I decided, you know what? Let me, let me do what my mama did. Put your hands up on the door. Can do I not look you? at me. Do not look back. Put Face that door and put your hands up. Can I ask you something, guys? At this age, like where you are now, has your parent laid your hand, uh, their hands on you? At this age, no. like the way you are, yeah. No. I'm sure, I'm sure my nude. I'm if going I, to surprise if I, you. If I messed up I'm going him. to surprise you. My mom <laughs> has. What? My mom hit me. I mean, if she feels the need to, then. But I feel like, but but I'm old. Why? I mean, if no, you're I don't care then how if you're old, old enough, if you're old enough, eh, yeah. then don't don't cross her lines. No so way. No, lines. no way. But exactly, what? it's true. By this age, no. you should know her limits, and yeah. you should know not so to test not her. But if you don't know them, then obviously she's gonna have to continue to teach you. But it's not fair. I'm, I'm already <laughs> old. And I mean, she she no, shouldn't it's fair. do that. It's only you because you're, you're the she culture. shouldn't do that because now let's say for example you the way your dad was giving you the option of fighting him hand to hand mm-hmm. like right now i mean it could spark those 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 thoughts of I you don't actually think I could ever raise hands trust me ever. that man can step on your head mm. <laughs> so he won't even give you that time to think like i want to fight or i don't want to fight mm. but i'm not crazy enough to fight my father i mean yeah. but right. at this age i don't think they should be beating us yeah i mean it's just mom if you're listening down. <laughs> mom, if my mom if notes, my mom is notes. watching this <laughs> mom she's a good person i mean but <laughs> Please. Open <Yeah>. your heart. <laughs> I mean, I forgive her, but yeah. uh, there's only so much. Still you can got do. the scars, though. Still got the car- scars to show. Cars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Still got the scars to show. So 
I mean, now we want to listen. We want to know uh, from the guys listening to us, like what were your experiences? Like what were the doses of discipline that you yeah. got? And also tell us what do you think you do different from your parents? Or would you be different? Maybe it's you true. wouldn't, because like I thought I would, but it turns out I wasn't. You know. Yeah. So, what do you think? I think is the key thing. So should we cut it to the music and give these guys a little bit of okay. time? Yeah. To respond yeah. to us. Let's do it. Take it away, DJ Trey. Thank you guys for tuning in. That was the show for you today. We hope you had fun with me, Maeve Cheryl, and my girl. Alicia Garufi. And the biggest. Specialina. And the biggest and the baddest DJ in Nairobi. DJ Trey. Mm -hmm. Of course. Don't forget what I told you earlier. On 21st September, NRG Radio is going to be hosting the biggest and the baddest show in Nairobi at Blend Thicker. And the NRG Top 40 are going to be, the people who make it out of the mm -hmm. NRG Top 40 are going to be unveiled. Hoping to see you there, guys. Yeah. Be sure to keep this discussion going with the hashtag the dose, the daily dose of discipline, guys. We hoped you loved it. And thank you so much. And we look forward to doing this again for y'all. Bye bye. Peace bye. out.